So are you ever working on a Blender project and when you go into rendered mode, you see this? Everything has turned to pink or maybe some things have turned to pink. Maybe the lighting has, but the textures haven't or just some of the textures have. Well, unless you specifically changed your shader to a bright glowing pink shader, then why this is happening is because Blender doesn't know where your textures are located on your computer. And the main reason why this can happen is because you either moved your textures or you moved your Blender file. So right over here, I have Blender and then right over here, I have my file browser. So I just downloaded this HDRI from HDRI Haven and then also on ambient CG I downloaded these rock textures and so let's just say that I was super eager to put them into blender and get started so I didn't even move them from the downloads folder I just kept them in the downloads folder and I added them into blender but then later on sometime maybe later in the day or a few days later I see these textures here and I'm like hmm, I should probably actually organize these so what I do is I just cut these files out of my messy downloads folder and then I go over to my project files and then I paste them right in here. But then when I go out of rendered mode and then go back into rendered mode or reopen the Blender file, now everything is pink. And so basically Blender is telling you that it doesn't know where the textures are located because it thought that the textures were right here on your computer, but then you moved them. And so now it's pink and that is Blender's way of telling you it just doesn't know where the textures are. So there are a few ways to fix this problem. One thing that you could do is just take your textures and bring them back to the downloads folder. And then if I just go back out of the rendered view and then back into rendered view, you can see that it's back. But organizing your digital files well is very important. So if I just throw them back here, let's say that you want to leave them here. If I go back out and then go back into rendered view, they're now pink. So what you can do is you can tell Blender where you move the textures to. So first let's do the world. So I'm just gonna click right here over on the world settings. And then right here, you can see here is the HDRI. What I'm gonna do is click on the file icon to relocate to where it is. And when I click on the file icon, you can see it puts me in the downloads cause that's where it thinks it is. But what I can do is I can just drag and drop this in and it's gonna hop over to it. And then I can just open image and then it's going to read that there and it's gonna see that it's there. And now you can see that we have the HDRI. Now we don't have the textures. So what you can do is you can just do the same thing. So click right here on the file icon and then just locate to the folder where you move the textures to and then just click on open image. So it opened up the base color, but we also need to add the roughness and the normal. And if you have like a really big scene, there could be tons of different textures and it would take a long time to manually go through and relocate them. So Blender actually has a feature to relocate all the textures at once. So how you can do this is just by going file and then going right down here to external data. Then what you're gonna do is click on find missing files. And then you're just going to need to locate to the folder where you have the textures saved. So I'm just gonna click on rock textures and then you can click on find missing files. Now, if I go into rendered mode, I can control shift and click on these and you can see that now it's found all of them with just that one feature. So I didn't have to go through and manually open them all up. It just found the textures. All right, so that does work really well, but for many scenes, you probably have multiple textures and the different types of textures are probably gonna be in different folders. So what I did is I just added a, another monkey head and then for this one, I added a concrete texture. So what I can do, if I just go back right here to my downloads, I'm just gonna move this concrete texture into my other folder with my other files. So then I can go back into rendered mode and you can see that it doesn't know where the concrete texture is. So to fix this, we can just do the same thing. So I'm just gonna go file and go to external data and then I'm gonna click on find missing files. And then you can just locate to where you moved the other textures and then click on find missing files. Now, if you had other textures in your file, it's gonna tell you that it couldn't find those, but we already told Blender where the other textures were. So the rock texture and the HDRI. And then there's just one more thing that I wanted to show you. So you can see that I have the world and then I also have these two textures here, the concrete texture and the rock texture. And all of these files are in this one folder. But then if they all get moved, so maybe I make a new folder and then I just throw them into the folder. Now, when I go 
out of rendered mode and then back into rendered mode, you can see they're all missing. What you can do in this case, because they're all in the same place, is you can just go File, External Data, and then click on Find Missing Files. And then if you just go into that folder where they all are, these are in their own separate folders, but you can just locate to this folder, click on Find Missing Files, and you can see that Blender found these, even though these were in their own folders. Both the rock textures and the concrete textures were in their own folder, but you can see that Blender found them. So that is super helpful as well. So there we go. Next time you're in Blender and you go into rendered mode or render it out and it's all pink, you should now know what to do to fix this. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in a future video.